Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I think, despite geeks like you or me getting frustrated when people ask us technical questions, we should be honored that uh, someone would turn to us for advice. Uh, but answering technical questions can sometimes be a great challenge. So, as we've uh, detailed in the story on LockerGnome.com, as we've linked in the video's description, technical questions. How should you respond? And let me give you a scenario. Um, here's how not to respond to a technical question. Okay, Diana, ask me a, a technical question. Why do your why does your iPad charge slowly? Um, because you shouldn't buy an iPad. Okay. That's why. Interesting. It's a bad. <laughs> do you understand that was a bad answer? Okay, now try it again. Do you know why my iPad charges so slowly? Your iPad may be charging slowly because uh, there may not be enough power flowing through the adapter. Uh, we may try a different adapter to see if that speed things up. Um, so it may charge uh, slower in a USB port on a computer compared to a dedicated uh, adapter. It could, you know, come down to that. Uh, you know, this is the primary reason why it may be charging slower on one connection versus another. Um, one instance, it could be, I doubt it would be the cable, but not all cables are created equal, as we've covered before. So we can try a couple of different variations to see if that uh, speeds things up for you. You guys get that? I was listening to her problem instead of projecting my own bias on top of it. You know, it's it's like someone says, I'm having this problem. And then someone else pipes up and says, I'm not having the problem. <laughs> okay, that doesn't help at all. Uh, it's difficult to answer technical questions. And sometimes what it boils down to is knowing the other person's needs. When someone asks you a generic question, if Diana were to ask me, Chris, should I buy an iPad or should I wait for a Windows 8 tablet PC? Well, I would uh, uh, ask a few more qualifying questions to get an answer out of her. Well, Diana, uh, what are you going to use this for? And if she said, well, just surfing the web, checking email, maybe playing a couple games, I would probably recommend going with, today, an iPad because we haven't seen Windows 8 uh, tablet PC ship and I really doubt they're going to ship uh, with the same uh, specs as uh, even a baseline iPad, a 499, 16 gig, uh, Wi-Fi only iPad. Uh, they're not going to ship with a price point that low unless they were subsidized by Microsoft and believe me, Microsoft could pull it off. Uh, I bet uh, Windows 8 PCs are probably going to be more expensive and if her needs are that simple, uh, you know, you've got to think about the person who's asking the question. But if she threw in there, but I also think I want to use uh, Microsoft Office and still use a couple of uh, Windows applications, I may recommend Windows 8 with the caveat uh, that it may not be as usable on a tablet experience as it would be on the desktop for the uh, concessions and the compromises that Microsoft is making with Windows 8. Uh, you know, you've got to take in so many bits of information from the person who's asking the question before you can fully answer the question. That's why it is impossible to answer some of the so, some of the very simplistic questions that get asked even in this channel by people who are technically minded. They ask, which one should I get? I'm like, I've got to ask you 50 more questions before I can give you a qualifying answer. There's so many variables that you have to consider, and this is one of the things uh, that you know we've faced and we've outlined better ways that you can respond to technical questions that you're getting asked. Take a look at the description uh, here for this video to take a look at the story on LockerGnome.com, and if you like it, feel free to share it. And if you have any other recommendations or suggestions, well, let us know.